This is gonna be a wild, wild video, people, because I'm not in a smoky eye, I don't have a heavy contour, and I'm not in a nude pinky peach lip. So we have a no makeup makeup tutorial right now, and prepare to see my naked face in three, two, one. Whoosh! Here is my no makeup makeup bag of makeup. That's a hell of a lot of makeups. My foundation's actually one that you guys have asked me a lot about, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. This was a grower on me because the first time I tried this, I was like, oh no, don't like this at all. But the more I kind of got to grips with it and figured out how to use it, the more I love it. I never ever apply foundation with my fingers, but for some reason I find that this one just blends so much better when I use my fingers. So I'm starting everything off using my fingers, just using like a really nice light layer. Obviously I can't do a tutorial without a Sephora brush so I'm just gonna go in with another layer now, another little light layer and this Sephora brush which is awesome as you guessed because I love all the Sephora brushes. The finish this gives is one of my favorites because it's not sweaty and it's not too glowy that you look sweaty either. Just looking in the little viewfinder here I don't think my bags look too bad today. I mean they definitely have looked worse but I'm still gonna use my favorite thing at the moment and this is the, I said that quite weirdly, I was like favorite thing of the moment I'm really enunciating my T's today, but this is the IT. Do you see what I did there? Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's quite thick and heavy, so I do like to really like warm it up in my finger, and then I just go ahead and dab it in my eye. And I have some very funny eye veins, because my veins start over here, and they're quite blue, and then they come all the way around here, so I like to bring my concealer up into that little corner. I've told myself that real YouTubers can do their makeup in the little viewfinder thing, so I'm trying to do this now, and I just realized that I'm not even wearing my contacts, so I don't know what this looks like. It could look horrendous. So we're just taking a guess here. I might have to get a mirror out. Let's see now. Now I can't see anything, because my glasses are covering my eyes. Now I've just made myself dizzy. It's okay, I got a mirror. So that part of the video was a no makeup makeup slash no mirror makeup challenge and I think I did all right. Moving on to my eyes and I have this Groundwork Paint Pot by MAC which is a kind of like a slaty muted brown color and I like to work this in with a MAC 217 brush so it distributes nicely on my lids. I like to kind of mesh the product into the brush on the back of my hand. I love the word mesh. I'm just applying that all over my lids and just a tiny bit above my crease as well. This doesn't add anything fancy at all, it's just like having a nice wash of colour to kind of define the eyes. I love how long these last on my eyes as well, especially because they don't crease. So this is a dual-ended Tom Ford liquid eyeliner and on one side you have a little felt tip brush and on the other side you have a kind of really small fine nib. Now this fine nib not only means that it's like foolproof for people that can't do winged eyeliner or use liquid eyeliner, which is sometimes me, not gonna lie, there was a point in LA, I think, where I had like one wing eyeliner like pointing downwards and one like going up towards my eyebrow, but that is just what jet lag did to my winged eyeliner hand. That little mini story over, I'm just gonna use this little side and just press it into the root of my lashes, and this just really makes lashes look so much fuller. I find it really hard to talk when I'm doing eyeliner. Yeah, so it just makes them look fuller and thicker. So I've applied it on this eye and it's just a really subtle difference. So there's another lashes secret I have to share with you and this is using a black eyeliner. And this is obviously the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliners. I just adore these, especially this velvet one because it doesn't smudge or go around anywhere and it's matte as well. So I'm just gonna show you what this does now. I'm just gonna apply it on my upper waterline. Oh my God, this is the weirdest feeling ever. I can never get used to this feeling. It feels like a slug is in my eyeball like rummaging around. But can you see how these lashes now look so much more thicker and fuller than these ones? So the slug is going around on this eye too. I just hate this feeling so much but it makes such a good difference. Step one and two of eyelashes right here. First I'm gonna curl them and then I'm gonna apply this L'Oreal mascara which is also waterproof so it just stays on and on and on. Actually guys, please tell me, what is your favorite waterproof makeup remover? Because I would love, love, love to know. I love waterproof makeup, but it comes to the end of the day and I want my makeup to come off quickly and it does not cooperate. I don't know if they're showing up on camera, but on my cheeks I have a couple of kind of like old spots and blemish marks and things. So I'm just gonna embrace them for this no makeup makeup look. I've been embracing them a lot recently actually, since my boyfriend on holiday when I was like not wearing any makeup was like, oh what cute freckles you have on your cheeks and I was like ah oh, freckles yeah so 
If old spots now equals cute freckles, then I'm really okay with that. Let's all embrace our cute freckles, people. To add some kind of contouring thing into my cheeks, I have this really tiny, dinky Kevin O'Quan Cream Duo. So I'm gonna use this contour shade here, just dab it a little bit and sweep it onto my cheeks, just underneath my cheekbone, and then blend that on upwards. It's funny because I don't actually like the Kevin O'Quinn sculpting powder, but in cream form, it's really nice. But this is the problem with using fingers, you gotta have some wipes nearby. Just wipe on the wipe. I feel like I need a wipe on the wipe song. And wipe my little hand palette here. Does anyone ever forget to wash their like stuff they put on their hands while they're doing their makeup, like their foundation, and then go out and there's like a foundation patch like on your hand? I always do that. And then there's a highlight shade in here as well. And if anyone was around for the Gemma Kid creamy glow all over highlighting thing, this is so, so similar to that. Really beautiful and like champagne-y. So natural and subtle on the skin as well. I'm gonna use a little blush and this is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush. Again, I'm just gonna dab that onto my hand palette here because it is quite a strong color and then dab that onto my cheeks. And I used to be quite scared of cream products actually, but recently I've just fallen in love with them. I think it's more about kind of like finding the right formulas and textures for you. That sounded a bit like an advert, like if you find the right formulas and textures for you, your life will change. It's a bit hot in England right now. It's actually boiling right now, currently as we speak. So I'm not lifting my arm up too high in case there's a patch or something. I'm just gonna do a little bit of powdering now down the place where it gets the most oily which is the zone of the T. Don't know what's wrong with me today, I can't even say the word T-zone properly. I don't normally do that much on an everyday basis to my eyebrows, so this is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. The Kiko Brow Pencil is really similar to this, but I haven't found that one in two months, and I think the culprit for that is my sister. So this is a magical, miracle lip product right here. I don't know how it does it, but it makes lips look plump and full and juicy. The other day, my best friend, who's known me since I was like five, like asked me if I'd had my lips done. That is how juicy and full this makes your lips look. By the way, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner, and I'm just taking that all over my lips. Not just like lining the outside, but also just filling them in with it. So now they just look much more fuller and like a lot more lively. I'm gonna use my little blush again, but I'm just gonna dab that on my lips. I always feel like such a professional when I dab. So guys, that's my no makeup makeup look. Let me know if there are any other tutorials you fancy seeing from me soon. If you don't already follow me on Twitter or Instagram or any of those kind of like social media links, I'll leave all my links below as well as all the products I mentioned in this video. So right now I have my latest videos linked below me. So if you click on one, it will take you straight to the video. I know the internet is a really crazy thing. I'm doing upside down piano waving jazz hands right now. So as always, my social media links will be below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'm gonna real time piano wave and I'll see you soon. Bye.